Let's say that an intrusion has occurred or is occurring. How do you know an attacker is attacking your system? That's where intrusion detection systems come in. Great way to monitor your entire network, a portion of the network, or an individual system. When it comes to intrusion detection systems, there are many different types. They generally boil down into a couple different categories. Those two different categories are network-based intrusion detection systems. The network-based IDS systems monitor a network segment. Basically, the way they work is the IDS is sampling all the packets that pass through a specific point on the network. It is a NIC, Network Interface Card, that is listening to all the packets. It works very much like a sniffer, except it's a positive tool. It's something that you're going to track and analyze and figure out what's going on, what's going past this particular place. The problem with a network-based IDS is that if you're trying to protect a specific machine, it's possible there may be an alternate path into that machine, and only packets that go past this access point will be monitored. The other type of IDS is a host-based IDS. This monitors a single system. In fact, in most cases, the IDS software runs on the host that you're securing. What he does is he looks at logs and looks at activity occurring on the system and tries to find anomalies. And he'll use different criteria to find anomalies. Since he's using logs, it's often an after-the-fact type of monitoring situation, whereas the network-based intrusion detection system is much more real-time because he's really looking at the packets that are going across the system right now. Now, the IDS system, regardless of whether it's network-based or host-based, is looking for unusual activity. So the question then is, how do I define what's unusual? 